The mayor of Abbotsford, BC has been standing by for us in this hour. Henry Braun joins us right now. So, Mayor, thank you for being with us today. Thank you, Michael, for inviting me. It's a pleasure to be with you. Listen, I want to begin with how you are feeling about the situation today, because I take it significant progress was made over the weekend in terms of cleanup and repairs. So that said, how are you feeling as you begin a new week? Well, I'm feeling much better today than I did 48 hours ago. And uh, well, there's a lot of moving parts, but this is a very fluid situation even as we speak. And we're not out of this by a long shot. Not out of it, but there has been progress made on both the dam and in terms of diversion of water, correct? Absolutely, yes. The, the breaches, all three of them, uh, but the two larger ones were sealed yesterday. So the Sumas River is now draining directly in through our floodgates into the Fraser River which means that the water isn't flowing into what was once a lake bottom. So yes, that is fantastic news. So what then becomes the priority, Mayor, for, for today, for the week ahead? Where would you like to focus efforts on? Well, our, our number one priority is, so we've only uh, filled those breaches uh, enough so that we are maybe two or three feet above the water line. So we have to still put another uh, three meters of riprap and, uh, and gravel on top of the, those uh, patch, temporary patches. The number two priority right behind that is we have extensive damage to the southern dike of the Sumas River um, for long distances where the overtopping took place. So in some places those dikes, the, the width has been decreased by one half. So we are in there right now trying to shore that up because if we get another rain event, which they're predict predicting for Thursday, uh, if it comes over three or four days, that's one thing. If it comes in one dump, uh, we got big problem. We got bigger problems out here. Well, let's talk a bit more about that because, as you say, more precipitation is in the forecast. Now, it seems that for the most part, the rain is going to be scattered across a few days. But, but I guess at this point, it's hard to truly know whether or not more rain will come at one time. Just, just what levels are you concerned about here? Uh, what, what amount of rain has to fall to actually reach a danger level for you? Well, that is the $64 question. The answer is, I don't think anybody knows. If uh, we're the, sorry, the rainfall itself is not the issue. Our diking, this diking system can handle the rain and probably could have handled the rain that we got last week. What we can't handle is for, you know, 25% of the Nooksack River south of the border flowing directly into Abbotsford. That diking system and the pump system was never designed to take another country's water. Mm -hmm. Now, Canadian forces are on the ground, and I do want to spend a moment talking about them. How have they been helping out Abbotsford? Uh, what would you like to see uh, them do in the days ahead? Well, they've been walking the dikes. We have about 17 kilometers of dikes, so they've been uh, walking those dikes, looking for weaknesses. And, of course, we found uh, weaknesses. When half your dike is washed away, uh, that's a weakness. They've also been helping with debris cleanup, uh, you know, clearing culverts, uh, and those kinds of things. So that's what they're doing. Now, you know, there's been this one, these wonderful moments of watching people from Abbotsford who are not even affected by, by these floodwaters, helping out, filling in sandbags, uh, going to provide food and, and beverages for people that are working so hard right now. What is your message right now to the people of Abbotsford in this moment? Well, I want to thank the people that you just referenced. There is thousands of them that are uh, helping uh, neighbor helping neighbor and, and our farmers helping one farmer helping one or two other farmers I mean it's it's it warms my heart what I have seen out there I wish everybody could experience and see what I have seen over this past week but uh, I just want the people of Abbotsford and across the province and across our country to know that we are doing everything we can to keep our community safe and uh, uh, their help has been invaluable that, that one that first night or the second night, I guess it was. I don't know what day it is anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, when 300 volunteers came out to shore up the Barrowtown pump station uh, from Chilliwack and Abbotsford and that small crew of city workers that manned that 24-7, uh, had they not done that, that pump station would be underwater and that lake would have refilled and it would be there till April or May next year because it can't drain anywhere. That's why we pump it out at the rate of 500,000 gallons a minute. 
So obviously the, the, the volunteerism, the, the, the community spirit that people have shown in this moment has been great. But I also wonder about the message you have for people, in particular those who live on the Sumas Prairie. How should they proceed in the days ahead? How do they on, uh, stay on top of the information that they need to hear? Well, I'm doing, I've been doing two briefings a day. We've cut that back to one, and uh, I would just let them know, uh, go to the city's website. We are posting up-to-date information all the time. As the waters recede in, in one part of the prairie, we, are, we will start to lift those uh, evacuation orders to let them in, but that's not going to happen over the whole prairie. So where the prairie was flooded four or five days ago, uh, that's just about dry land on the western portion of Sumas Prairie, but on the eastern part or the old lake bed, it's still five, six feet deep. And at the, even at the rate of 500,000 gallons a minute, that we're talking many days before that water is going to go down. We have to inspect 40 bridges, uh, hundreds of culverts before, because there's washouts on the roads and the shoulders. We just can't let people in there because our priority is still safety for everyone. 